Good afternoon, sir. So, I welcome uh, the Honorable Minister for State, Dr. Rajkumar Ranjan Singh Ji, for MOS for Education and External Affairs, to this brief program on the World Environment Day. I also welcome Chairman UGC, Chairman AICT, and Chairman NETF, along with all the directors and staff of their institutions who are joined online to us, sir. We have a very brief program. But before we commence, uh, in uh, respect to the souls who have been lost in this tragic accident, we will uh, take a one minute silence in their respects. Thank you, sir. So going forward, we would uh, like to request you to kindly uh, administer a pledge uh, to all of us, uh, because on this important occasion, I think we need to repurpose ourselves towards this noble cause. I request you, sir, to kindly administer the pledge. <coughs> you will read first, sir, and then we will repeat. Okay. I played to make all possible changes in my daily life to protect the environment. I, I, I to make all possible changes in my daily life to protect the environment. I also commit to continuously motivate my family. I, I also commit to continuously motivate my family, friends, friend, 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 and other and others about the importance about the importance of environmentally about environmentally friendly habits friendly habits my pratikya karta hu my pratikya karta hu ki paryavaran ko bachane ke liye ki paryavaran ko bachane ke liye apne dainik jeevan mein apne dainik jeevan mein हर संभव हर संभव बदलाव लाऊंगा मैं यह भी वचन देता मैं यह भी वचन देता हूं कि मैं अपने परिवार कि मैं अपने परिवार मित्रों और अन्य लोगों को मित्रों और अन्य लोगों को पर्यावरण के अनुकूल पर्यावरण के अनुकूल आदतों और व्यवहारों के महत्व के विषय में सत्य रूप से प्रेरित करूंगा प्रेरित करूंगा Thank you, sir. Sir, I will request uh, Chairman UGC, sir, in uh, in consonance with this initiative, UGC has brought out uh, detailed guidelines to guide uh, our educational institutions. Before you release it, sir, one uh, Chairman UGC will just yeah. articulate briefly about the things and the effort that has been made into going to these regulations. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, as part of the reforms that we are introducing in the undergraduate uh, education, uh, we are bringing out uh, several guidelines and uh, curriculum changes in the undergraduate education. So one of them is uh, to sensitize uh, our students about the importance of protecting the environment and becoming more aware so that whether they are students inside the campus or when they go back home, they practice certain practices um, which will help our environment uh, to be sustained. So towards that end, sir, we have prepared this uh, curriculum framework. And uh, once you launch it today, we will be sending it to all the universities to incorporate it in their undergraduate programs, sir. 
Thank you, sir. Sir, I think if you uh, if you can have you put on the screen. Just, 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 just one second. Honorable Minister will. Thank you, sir. these things. Sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, I will just request Chairman AICT uh, as an initiative from their side, they are uh, doing a campaign for one student, one tree. I will request him to kindly brief you and the audience about this initiative. Thank you, sir. Honorable uh, uh, Minister, Dr. Rajkumar and Minsuti, and all the distinguished people as well here. So we are actually uh, doing one student, one tree in 2023. This is an initiative taken in 2020. So a large number of trees were planted in all our campuses. Making uh, This time, our goal is to do one crore tree plantation. It's been taken by AICTE. So we have already written to all the institutions, asking students, faculty, and staff member, all the approved institutions of AICTE, to plant at least one tree having suitable utility in the respective region. The name of the tree may be given on the name of the person who planted the tree. And we are also monitoring that. This is as part of the Mission Mary Life Pledge on 5th June 2023. It starts from today, sir, but we have time up to August 15th to do all the plantation. So I hope this will be a very big success in 2023. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. So now I request you for your kind words and guidance. Yeah, uh, dear colleague and chairman, UGC, chairman AICT, Anil Sutripatsi ji, and uh, Sanjay ji, and Sabko. Uh, before giving my uh, the uh, main course, I remember when I was in university. And that was uh, under the ruling of the Supreme Court, UGC has taken up initiative. So we started uh, by 2003 at that time. Uh, the course of environment, credit and non-credit, and in the foundation courses. So I, <laughs> I think uh, uh, associated with the University Grants Commission long back, and I appreciate again UGC for... Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, dear colleague, it gives me immense pleasure to address you all and express my thoughts on the occasion of the World's Environment Day. The celebration of World Environment Day across the country envisages involvement of youth in spreading the message of life, along with sensitizing school, going children, and other about life. As you are aware, in the national statement at the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, COP26, Global Leaders Summit in Glasgow, the Honorable Prime Minister's mantra was lifestyle for environment. And he also stressed upon setting a target for net zero carbon emission by 2030. On 20th October 2022, the Prime Minister launched Mission Life, Life for lifestyle for environment, a global movement to safeguard our environment from the impact of climate change. Life is an India-led global mass movement for mindful and deliberate utilization instead of mindless and destructive consumption. To protect and preserve the environment, Life is part of India's updated nationally determined contribution to propagate a healthy and sustainable way of living based on the ancient Indian traditions and values of conservation and moderation. Life highlights Indian traditions and love for nature and drawn upon these to news, the individual and community behavior. I'm glad that on this occasion, AICTE will launch one student, one tree campaign 
2023, UGC2 has taken initiative for creating awareness about mission life. I appeal that all educational institutions may take initiative like awareness workshop on sustainable practices on mission life and promoting life action. Making college and university campuses plastic free, making campus digital campus and avoid use of paper, avoid food wastes in hostel and cafeteria, making manure for compost of dried leaves, food wastes, and organic waste, organizing bicycle rally, plastic collection, water body cleaning activities during the course of settled event. The just release guideline and curriculum framework for environmental education and at undergraduate level is an important step in line with the National Education Policy 2020, which underlines the importance of making environmental education an integrate part of curricula and encouraging environmental awareness and sensitivity towards its conservation and sustainable development. The guideline includes areas such as climate change, pollution, waste management, sanitation, conservation of biological diversity, management of biological resources and biodiversity, forests and wildlife conservation, and sustainable development. The document is expected to cater to students from diverse disciplinary background and to sensitize them about the commitment of our nation towards achieving sustainable development goals and addressing global environmental challenges. I urge you all to adopt this guideline in the course curriculum at, UG, at undergraduate level and also take steps for achieving the objective of mission life, thereby protecting the mother earth from the adverse impact of the environmental degradation. Thank you, Jai Hind. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Honorable Minister, for your giving us your uh, words of uh, uh, inspiration and uh, to uh, institutions have uh, had joined in in this meeting today. Uh, I thank uh, Chairman uh, UGC Professor Jagadish Kumarji for also coming here and uh, uh, having this uh, curricular re re release on this uh, occasion of World Environment Day. I thank uh, Professor Sita Raman, Chairman AICTE, uh, and for his initiative in uh, having a target of one crore trees uh, on this occasion, which is a very auspicious uh, occasion. And uh, I also thank uh, Professor Anil Sahasra Bhutte, who is chairman of the NETF. Uh, they have all come and spared their valuable time here. I've, I also thank uh, uh, Sri Sanjay Murtiji, Secretary of Higher Education. And also to all the directors and uh, the students who have come here to attend uh, this uh, short program on the occasion of World Environment Day. Today, the Honorable uh, Minister, Education Minister was uh, to be here, uh, but since he is uh, engaged uh, with uh, the relief work uh, going on in the uh, train accident site, uh, so, uh, but uh, we hope we can take the mission forward for making this uh, uh, the World Environment Day a success, and uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's cool.